it is then taken from the cooler and pushed into an auger and drawn by vacuum to the top of our three towers. Now years ago we used to put the curds into moulds in order to produce a finished cheese. Today the work is done in the towers. The towers are a 20 foot high column under vacuum with a perforated internal rectangular column and after 20 minutes out pops a perfectly shaped rectangular cheese weighing approximately 20 kilos. The cheese is then uh, passed over the weigher for weighing and th at that point they're individually identified to make absolutely certain that during the course of the maturing process we keep our vats of cheese separate from each other and ensure that we have total traceability on each individual cheese back to its source of manufacture. Indeed we can take it right back to the herds from which the milk was drawn to make the cheese in the first place. Once it's vacuum packed, out it goes to the packing room where it is encased in six boards which effectively look like a box. And if you look very, very carefully at the boards as they are stacked onto the pallet, you will actually see that the weight of the cheese is transferred through the boards so that no matter how high we stack our blocks of cheese, the shape of the cheese will always remain perfect regardless of how high the stack is. The curd inside these boards is in fact still at something like 35 or 36 degrees centigrade. What we're looking to do then is to cool that curd as quickly as possible to around 10 to 12 degrees centigrade. Now it's quite coincidental the 10 to 12 degrees centigrade is the temperature of cheddar caves in which the old original recipe was matured and we have never found a better temperature at which to mature. So that is the temperature that this cheese is being held at while it's in store and during that process the acidification of the cheese that we started with the addition of the rennet back in the, in the cheese vat is still continuing albeit now at a much slower rate. So what we're now faced with is a really extended period of very slow maturing to produce the character of cheese 